We see a lot of people today on the internet that say they've done this, but there's no verification of you know, evidence that they've actually done it. It's good marking, it's good sizzle, but there's no steak. And so coming into this room, I like the due diligence process of how uh, you know, Mike and the team has vetted the, uh, the participants in the room. That really impressed me, it created, created great comfort for me. Uh, because for me, you know, it's all about due diligence today and trust and verification. And, and just making sure you've got real people that are the players, not the pretenders in the room. And that you get the steak, not the sizzle. And so I've been very impressed with day one of the Board of Advisors, very impressed. Uh, you know, it took me about six, oh, a few months of due diligence and making a lot of phone calls asking people about the organization because I get approached by so many things all the time in different cities, different countries around the world and I've been very impressed with the Board of Advisors. So I'm grateful to be here at the Board of Advisors because, you know, coming on the first day, you know, I, I've, I've seen a lot, I've been around a lot of the who's who on the planet, I've met a lot of the most influential people that are alive today on the planet. And so coming into this room, I was really impressed, number one, with the logistics of the organization. Second thing was that really impressed me was the collective intelligence and the level and caliber of the men and women that are in the room. You know, these people have rigorous, busy schedules, a high levels of accountability and responsibility. And for them to make their calendars workable to be here for the first, you know, the full week was a very impressive to me. And then the give, give, give is what I resonate with. It means a lot to me. You know, I believe that, you know, you gotta pay it forward, you gotta pass it on, and if you, you gotta be a go-giver. You gotta make the deposit before you take the withdrawal. And to me, it was very inspiring to see a collective intelligence of like-minded people that are very specialized with knowledge. You know, you've got people with best practices, best-in-class people who've achieved the level of success, not from an academic place, but also from a results place. These people have been there, they've been in the trenches, they've been up, they've been down, and they've produced incredible, specific, and measurable results that are verifiable, which I like. You know, being here today and really sharing with authenticity and vulnerability what I'm up to in my life and really how I'm here to serve and make a difference across the planet, across, you know, with the humanity, it's been phenomenal. And just being received by these different men and women from all over internationally, you know, a lot from the United States of America and different other countries, what I'm really grateful for is just the men and the women who, with this give, give, give mindset and philosophy, which, which I totally resonate with and being a go-giver, not a go-getter, and just how people, when we come together as like-mindedness, this collective intelligence of like-minded people, where I was very vulnerable and very raw sharing you know, what I'm up to in my life and my backstory and where I am today and where I'm going in the future and how I'd love to have people in the room be of support so we can make a positive difference across the planet in terms of philanthropy, humanity, and myself, you know, with my background on being on a lot of advisory boards and boards of directors and doing what I've done, just to be able to come into corporations and have conversations and serve these men and women because of my skill set and my experience, I love that because, you know, it's tough in business at times. There's peaks and valleys, there's adversities and challenges. You know, we're getting hugged and we're getting slugged and we're getting kissed and we're getting kicked. And if somebody can just have somebody's back, which I have people's back, right? I always say, you know, if you're good, I'll make you better. If you're better, I'll make you the best. And for me, is really supporting somebody. I didn't have that growing up. I didn't have somebody to have my back. So I got out there all the time getting hugged and slugged, and, and I had to deal with both, the hugging and the slugging. And so it's great for me to be in this room today and all this week serving the other men and women and really making a difference in their lives so as they become better, they can do better things with their family and with their communities and with their charities and nonprofit groups and churches and really create that positive ripple effect and also live and lead by example. So when they're doing better in their lives, they create that positive ripple effect because I always say, you know, behavior never lives and never see you not being observed. So today was just phenomenal being here and all of this week so far has just been amazing of the caliber of people. And what I think I'm grateful for is the due diligence that the Board of Advisors does on each member wanting to come in before they onboard them because they don't just take anybody. There's a select group of men and women who've got results, who've done things, we don't get here based on you know their bank account or their accomplishments. They get here because of their integrity, their heart of who they are, and the difference they want to make in terms of being a giver. I've been in other groups before where a lot of people are they're very ego based, they're self driven, they're coming there within it for me. You know I'm on a tight schedule. I'm flying in. I'm driving in here. I'm here to I'm here to work a room. I'm here to do that. And I've always come from the mindset you've got to make a deposit before you make a withdrawal. And I always follow the medical model that prescription before diagnosis is called malpractice in the medical industry. And most people prescribe you from the diagnose. Whereas to me, I'm in, the, I'm in the people business, so I'm in the relationship building business. So I believe if you just be a go-giver and a go-getter and build relationships with people, through that, business will get 
created, referrals start to happen, you know, connections start to happen, doors get open because you built the relationships with people and you really show people. And what I do is I always come from a place of being in service, like people's concierge services. So I like to listen and ask questions and find out what people are up to, what they're working on, you know, what difference can I make in their personal personal lives and then come from a place of service first and serving them with no expectation or any, asking for anything in return. You know, so it's really quite fascinating to see the different people in this room and the different perspectives and points of views and different angles that people come from. And, and I think it's great for people that are growing and expanding a business or raising money in a business because it shows you your blind spots and it also shows you what you're not seeing. And it shows you, you know, there's so many people in this room that are diverse in different backgrounds from different life experiences. You know, like what we learned here in, in a few days, you couldn't get that in Harvard or Stanford or Yale University, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to get that education, that degree. We fast track things in here and it's in real time with real results with real people.